Hi class 5, today is 27th April and today I am going to teach you the second chapter episodes from the missile man slide. In this chapter uh, we have already discussed about the story and I have already explained you the whole story and uh, students I think you have problem for the textbook so you have to cooperate with me previous uh, some videos which I have already put in the YouTube but in some videos there was no uh, picture of the textbook which I have attached so please go through the videos previous videos again you can give the picture of this uh, page number 10 and 11 and uh, today I am going to discuss with you some question and answers and some exercises Whichever I am discussing with you, I am going to attach the same picture in the description. So, you have to download it from the description. Okay. So, let us start. So, after the story, there is one exercise that is question and answers. Okay. So, read the following sentences and answer the questions. Okay. So, I am telling the answers and I am discussing the answers with you which, which you can see uh, in the picture and you will copy that answers and questions from that picture in your English literature copy. Okay. So, I am reading the, the question. Ammi, I am going to the Shiva temple in the morning. Who said these words and to whom? What did the speaker propose to do after this? What reply did he get? So, you can see this uh, with this quotation which is given in page number 12, okay. It is, this quotation is actually taken from page number 9, the first page of the story, okay. From there the quotation is taken. Here you can see the picture. Ammi, I am going to the Shiva temple in the morning. After returning from the temple, I will go to offer namaz, okay. So, here Abdul told to his mother that he was going to the Shiva temple in the morning. And after returning from the Shiva temple, he will go to offer namaz. And his mother said in reply that it's okay Abdul, you can visit the temple first. Okay. So, let us come into the question answers part again. So, the answers are. Who said this words? The first question. Who said these words and to whom? The answer is Abdul Kalam said these words to his mother. Okay. So Abdul Kalam said these words to his mother. Now the second question that is B. What did the speaker propose to do after this? Speaker means here Abdul Kalam. Okay. So what did the speaker, what did, the, uh, what did Abdul Kalam Proposed to do after this means after going to the Shiva temple, what was his plan? So the answer is the speaker proposed that after returning from the temple, he would go to offer namaz. Okay, so what he proposed, he proposed that after returning from the temple, he would go to offer namaz. Okay, then the C, what reply did he get? The answer of the C question, what reply did he get? His mother gave him permission to go. She asked him to visit the temple first. Okay. So, Abdul's mother gave him permission to go for the, for visiting the temple and the, uh, and the mosque. And then she asked him to visit the temple first. Okay. Now, the second, uh, this is actually the reference to the context. Uh, question and answers which is given in your book page number 12 and the second uh, quotation which is given in your book it is Abdul come into the kitchen and eat dinner with us here okay Abdul come into the kitchen and eat dinner with us here I think you can guess that who spoke this yes uh, this line is spoke by uh, this line is uh, spoken by science teacher's wife okay Science teacher's wife. Science teacher invited Abdul Kalam first time for the dinner. And what was the behavior received by Abdul Kalam from uh, Abdul Kalam from his wife? You know that I have already discussed and explained you. 
so the uh, the treatment which abdul kalam received from the teacher's wife was that he has to sit outside of the house uh, outside of the kitchen room for having the dinner but the next time when he visited the same house his wife told him to eat the dinner inside the kitchen so this is all about in this uh, reference to the context so who said these words and and to whom here the science teacher's wife said this to abdul kalam okay now was there any change in the speaker's behavior what will, what will be your answer speaker's behavior means here teacher's wife okay so was there any change in the teacher's behavior uh, teacher's wife's behavior yes there was a change so what will be your answer yes there was a change in the speaker's behavior now c question how can you say so the speaker earlier did not serve abdul the meal inside the kitchen but the next time when he was invited for dinner she asked abdul to eat dinner with them in the kitchen so how can you say so means how can you prove that that the speaker's behavior has changed so you have to relate it to the previous behavior and the next behavior uh, done with abdul so you have to write the speaker earlier did not serve abdul the meal inside the kitchen but the next time when he was invited for dinner she asked abdul to eat the dinner with them inside the kitchen okay then the last question that is question number d how did the listener respond to this what was the listener's reaction means the listener was abdul kala so what was his reaction abdul kala was happy to see that change had come over the orthodox lady okay now today i'm going to give you only this uh, here is exercise a and exercise b question answers but only exercise a i am giving you today okay and in my next class again i am going to give you the uh, question and answers of exercise b so you have to write down the meanings uh, which is given in your story you have to write down the meanings in your copy then you have uh, you have to copy this question and answers which i have discussed with you today okay now turn to page number 13 in page number 13 you can see that question number d here is match the words with their meanings okay you you can solve by your own as you don't have the textbook so i am discussing the answers with you and uh, you can get you will also get the picture of this page so from there you can uh, copy this match the column as well as there is a filling the blanks you can copy it in your um, like english literature copy okay match the words with their meanings now in column a number 1 it is written word pious okay p i o u s pious so what is the meaning of pious match the uh, meaning Uh, so column b the answer is number b that is holy okay so pious answer is holy then number 2 is quest number 2 is quest quest meaning is number a that is search number a that is search then number 3 is feast a f e a s t feast feast meaning is a special meal that is e feast meaning is a special meal number 4 it is embedded embedded meaning is number 4 it is answer c that is fixed f i x e d fixed embedded meaning is fixed then in a mode e n a m o r e d in a mode number 5 it is number d liking something a lot okay now question number e filling the blanks with suitable words given in the brackets in the filling the blanks see two options are given which is the correct answer you have to choose that one and you have to fill in the blanks abdul kalam belong to dash belong to kerala or belong to tamil nadu the correct answer is tamil nadu abdul kalam belong to tamil nadu number 2 the world war to broke out in 1914 or 1939 the correct answer is 
Mr. Ramakrishna Iyer was Kalam's mathematics teacher or science teacher. Mr. Ramakrishna Iyer was Kalam's mathematics teacher. So the correct answer is mathematics teacher. Number four, Abdul Kalam passed away on dash on twenty seventh March two thousand fourteen or twenty seventh July two thousand fifteen. The correct answer is Abdul Kalam passed away on twenty seventh July two thousand fifteen. So students, for today, uh, whatever I have given you, the question and answers and the filling the blanks match the following. Please copy it down and. learn it properly go through it go through the story twice or thrice and learn the meanings and also write the meanings learn the filling the blanks match the following and also the question and answers okay thank you students